Hi, this is Brian Katzling with KCSG Power Tools for Kartra at kpowertools.com. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a custom non Kartra font from Font Foundry to Text Editor to Publish Page uh, while using KCSG Tools for Kartra, demonstrating the Custom Fonts Manager, the Font Reviewer, and the Enhanced Font Picker in the Text Editor to accomplish these tasks. So to save a little bit of time, I'm going to use a uh, Google Cloud hosted font called Seaweed Script. It's not in the Kartra supported list. I'll open up the, the font reviewer here. And if I do a search for Seaweed, you'll see it's not on the list anywhere because it's not installed yet. So let's go to Google Fonts and grab the, the text here that describes the font. You can either use the link or the import. It doesn't really make any difference. I'm gonna come over here and go to the Custom Fonts Manager, paste the code in here and click Load. Now Seaweed Script is available as a custom font to Tools for Kartra. I'll go back to the Font Reviewer and if I search for Seaweed now, this is an available font. I'm going to click in the title bar to add it to my custom picks area and the rest of the fonts are down here. If you're an agency user, you have the ability to save your picks, which are like your favorite fonts, to a named font group. So I'll demonstrate that here. So I'm gonna save this as a new group and I'll just give it the same name. I'll call it Seaweed Script. And say, okay. And so now I have Seaweed Script as a, a list I can switch between different font groups. So these are some other fonts I had as my picks previously. And I go back to working with Seaweed Script. Yes, and there's my Seaweed Script pick. Now, since this is not a Kartra supported font, uh, pages and membership areas will not display without the custom CSS that goes along to support this. Basically, it's this stuff that's now uh, being remembered in the Custom Fonts Manager mini me media library that works in Tools for Kartra. So I will need to copy this CSS for pages and go to my demonstration page. So what I'll do is paste that, before I forget, I'll paste the custom CSS into the custom style section and apply that. That will allow that non-standard font to, dis to display after I set the style here. So I'll open this and choose to, I'm just gonna modify the first paragraph here. When I open the custom font picker, you can see that I have um, the, the current picks, which matches what I had over here in the Your Pick section. I can also choose from other named fonts. If you uh, have the agency license, that's an agency feature. In this case, I want to apply Seaweed Script. Uh, this search box works somewhat like the search box in Kartra's Font Picker. I can type stuff here and this will show me the stuff that's in the your pick section first in whatever order you have it in your picks and all the additional available fonts are shown in alphabetical order if you have trouble reading the font sample you can just hover over the font sample and you'll see a tooltip pop up that shows the name in this case confirming that it's the seaweed script so i'll just click that to apply and there you can see we, we now have Seaweed Script, a custom font, being applied through the Text Editor Font Picker. And if I preview that, there's the published page, and there's my Seaweed Script 
applied through the text editor. So that's one down. Let's see how that works in the membership area. So we're going to have the same issue. It's not a cartridge supported font, so it won't display without the custom HTML to add font support for that. So I'll click on copy membership HTML to clipboard. That's all I need for this. To, to add that, I need to add a custom code block. So that's this, this one here. And I'll just drag this to the top of my post. And if you have multiple posts, in this case, in this sample membership, I only have one post. So I only have one place to do it. If you had multiple posts, you'd have to put this uh, in every post where you want to use the font. This little uh, text paragraph up here is just to help you identify what custom code is in the block. It will not appear in the, the published section. We'll see that in a minute. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll just modify this first paragraph, change it to seaweed script. There's my seaweed script. I will preview that. And there it is. There's my seaweed script in my previewed membership area. Hope you've uh, found this video helpful.